Everyone after the head fits well to a parking garage application. To configure the application, you need to open the mobile application, hit connect, and that's when the mobile application starts to scan for the nearby active ahead nodes and to establish a Bluetooth connection to one of them. And through that one connection, you'll get access to the nearby active ahead mesh network. Now you see that the mobile application has stopped scanning and you can see that there are the kind of devices, now 71 discovered from this one point here. You can also do a new scanning round by pressing the red button at the bottom corner. That's how the mobile application sends a new discovery message to the network and sees if there are more devices to be discovered. All the active head nodes sit in the same active head network and that's why we are scanning the nearby nodes. Not necessarily the whole building because the building can be thousands of nodes. The first thing you do then is that you enter the network settings and you check that everything is correctly connected and working. That's what you do by pressing the identify button to see that all the nodes nearby you actually are identifying themselves. And that means that they actually are working properly. Now, in a typical parking garage application, you may group the main driveway. And to do this, you identify the devices that are kind of nearby you and you select the ones which you think uh, which you kind of see to be on the main driveway. And you do this then for the nearby luminaires. Once you have found the nearby luminaire to be grouped, then you hit the new group button. Now the floor is minus one. We are on group, let's say, 11 and the area type can be corridor. That's the same as a dry lane. Now you can decide whether you use an occupied level as the group member level or something lower. As this is the very main drive lane, we select the used occupied level. And you see that the luminaires you grouped are identifying themselves, that they have received the order to be grouped. Now they can also be then luminaires that needs to be always on. They can be, for example, the, for example, the one near entrance, so the door from which people come into this space or the entrance from, from where the car drives into the space. They may, may be either individual lights, like this one let's say, where you can then change the parameters of that luminaire so that the minimum level is something which is non-zero and so the luminaire will never go off. It will always now in this case stay on the 20% level. Now this kind of example of it applied and the luminaire now this one here will stay always on on minimum 20%. And when it sees movement or has learned to follow another luminaire which has triggered, it then goes to a higher light output level. But this is how you secure that people coming from that door over there will never enter a dark space. Once you have created groups for your drive lanes, you can either take advantage of the fact that one node can reside in multiple groups, or you can use the corridor hold function to ensure that these groups get linked so that the driving car has enough of light through the whole uh, corridor. Now, in this case, we have now two groups here. We have the one we created earlier, and then we have another group created at the end of the drive lane. And to link these two together with corridor hold, what I'll do is that I'll go into the 1.11 and then in the rules that I'll select corridor hold and I'll turn it on. Now it says that if movement is detected in this group, meaning that group over there, these groups then stay active. And you can also here still identify that this is the very group that I'm interested in. And then all you hit is you hit done and add line. Now you have a linkage this way around. If you want to have the same link the other way around, then you repeat the very same step. 
So you select 1.14 in this case, you go to the rules, corridor hold, enable, add group, find the 1.11, and you hit done and apply. And now you have a corridor in link both directions. This now means that whether the car or human is coming from that direction or that direction, they are, they are activating the group which they are triggering as well as the corridor hold link group, meaning the following group ahead of the person or car.